Yeah, we know that uh, Prince Harry has actually been um, going down the rails, uh, obviously being intoxicated by his wife's um, PC correctness and left-wing garbage. Uh, obviously, her mind obviously is uh, left-wing. She's from a obviously in the acting world, obviously wasn't really an actress really, but from that sort of sphere. It's usually a left-wing PC background that Meghan Markle comes from. And strictly, the royals are supposed to be a, uh, are supposed to be neutral in all political aspects of um, debate. And obviously, championing equal rights, etc., on environmental matters, etc., championing the recovery institutions or places that have been devastated by actual disasters and promoting eco-friendly schemes etc is all fine but the commonwealth is a historic organization of Britain. yes obviously majority of the countries in the commonwealth did belong to the british empire obviously that's true but i think the commonwealth scans of fairness it scans for countries that just want to get along and just want to they have common history, they have common language. And Britain is home to hundreds of thousands of uh, people from around the Commonwealth, from India, from Sri Lanka, from Bahamas, from Trinidad and Tobago, that have contributed so much to this country. And the Commonwealth is not, obviously, is not harking back to the gaze of the British Empire. Obviously, I mentioned the Queen knows, obviously, the history knows her history. And obviously, the Britain after the Second World War was bankrupt, etc. And obviously, the Empire can no longer continue. But I believe that the, um, yeah, but I believe that Cromwell is. It's not a racist, nasty piece of organisation. The Commonwealth, I, I just love watching the Commonwealth Games. I was seeing those various athletes, the Commonwealth Games, the Commonwealth Paralympics. It, it just binds nations together. And I think her mention of the Queen, I think she would say that the Commonwealth does actually promote peace and honour upon nations as well. Uh, nations with common trade links, nations with common history and common cultures as well. And friendliness. This isn't about glorifying the British Empire. This isn't about saying, oh, we're the best, etc. Okay? Because if you look at the Commonwealth nations, all nations of the Commonwealth are equal. No has a voice above another nation, no matter how large or small they are. They're all equal on basis. And the Commonwealth, ne co the Commonwealth, obviously they've got the Commonwealth Games and they've got other things that they support each other on, age as well as, well as cultural events. But this isn't a neo-political uh, hark and gaze of the British Empire thing. I think uh, Meghan Markle and uh, Prince Harry are very uh, misinformed. And obviously, uh, you can understand why the Queen might be getting a bit angry at uh, Prince Harry for saying his drivel about the Commonwealth. Idiots. Um, I mean, he. I mean, the Queen is a major champion of the uh, Commonwealth. And obviously, she's got her own grandson who's very clearly been brainwashed by Meghan Markle to actually undermine and obviously uh, undermine uh, the very organisation that the Queen champions. Not for, which obviously the Queen isn't actually championing it, but the glory is the past when her, obviously her, her predecessors, like Queen Victoria and George V rule an empire, She's obviously championing it for the right reasons of promoting peace and harmony uh, between nations. And that hundreds of thousands of people can be, uh, obviously, not this year, obviously, 
But obviously, hundreds of thousands of people attend the uh, Commonwealth Games and the Commonwealth Power Olympics every single year. And obviously, there's major events in the Commonwealth because, like I say, it, it just it's a really it's a really peaceful organisation. And <clears throat> and like other organisations like the EU, for example, which tries to undermine national democracy. Uh, obviously, the Commonwealth for Nations uh, promotes uh, democracy. It promotes equal uh, rights of many nations as well. And you get you haven't got one nation, but Britain does not control the Commonwealth. Let me just make that very clear. Uh, obviously, Britain is the obviously the one of the major players in the Commonwealth, but it doesn't control the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth is controlled by all the nations equally. And obviously, I believe that this is. I, I think this is right. I mean, the Commonwealth nations are not like the EU. The EU is just a dictatorship block ruled by a centrist, um, unelected body in Brussels, which obviously undermines democracy and obviously destroys the will of the people, uh, destroys national sovereignty. Obviously, it likes to impose a useless currency on all its members. That has caused hardship and misery for millions of people. And obviously, if you don't vote in the, the right government, then obviously, like the Irish, the EU can step in and force you to like a, a government that will be pro EU. But the Commonwealth is no, I mean, to say that the Commonwealth is imperialistic, it's laughable. If you look at the EU, that's probably like a bloody empire more than anything. 